Trump says Republican lawmakers are bashing the president over how much his border policy allegedly costs taxpayers. The House Budget Committee presenting findings this week from the Federation for American Immigration Reform, or FAIR. The anti-immigration group says the border crisis under President Biden has cost American taxpayers more than $150 billion per year, or about $9,000 per migrant per year. However, a 2021 study by the bipartisan immigration research group New American Economy found that Mexican undocumented immigrants alone hold more than $82 billion in spending power, which the group says is often funneled back into local economies. Let's talk now with a member of the House Budget Committee, Congressman Chuck Edwards, Republican from North Carolina. Uh, Congressman, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning. Happy to be here. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Congressman, your committee mentioned this recent study uh, found illegal immigration costs nearly $151 billion a year, a $35 billion increase from 2017's levels, and it's cost taxpayers nearly $9,000 for each immigration here illegally. Congressman, what are you hoping will come out of this hearing? I think we have to continue to uh, educate the American people and to call out the Biden administration uh, for the horrendous uh, border policies that uh, that he's given our nation. Uh, Congressman Edwards, uh, many Americans realize the cost of the crisis are rising, but is there really a bipartisan push to solve it or even among your own party to truly solve this issue? I know that the Republicans are very serious about solving the problem. Uh, the Democrats very effectively are messaging the, uh, regarding the horrible bill that came over from the Senate that was not a serious attempt to fix the immigration problem. Uh, they want to continue to say that we had our chance and we didn't take it. Uh, it wasn't a serious attempt. A serious attempt was uh, H.R. 2 that uh, we passed earlier this year, the Secure the Border Act. Those are the provisions that will fix this problem if President Biden uh, would just urge Schumer to take up that bill and get it signed. And let's, let's fix this problem. We are most serious about fixing it. I don't, I don't think the Democrats are. And Congressman Edwards, you talked about how about $9,000 per uh, migrant per year is actually the cost to taxpayers. But you also talked about how uh, immigrants hold uh, $82 billion worth of spending power, which is often spent back into the economy. How do you square the two? And is there a way to uh, find a way that those two can actually work in concert? Well, there's, there's no way that you square that. Uh, we have maybe 11 million illegal immigrants that have crossed the border now since President Biden has been in office. Uh, we're diluting the effect of elections for folks that are here legally. That's why I passed the uh, Equal Representation Act on the House floor just yesterday. You can't square that up. We need to secure the border. We do not have a country if we don't have a secure border. Congressman Edwards, before I let you go, the Biden administration today will reportedly propose tightening asylum standards through a new DHS policy aimed at more quickly removing some migrants who may pose a security threat. Congressman, what are you expecting from the White House on this particular issue? I, I haven't seen the details of that uh, asylum change yet. Uh, what would really make a change is if President Biden were to reinstitute remain in Mexico uh, that President Trump had in place. Uh, that, I'm, I'm told that that would fix probably 70, maybe 80 percent of the problems. I, I'm afraid President Biden's just trying to spray perfume on a pig. <laughs> Congressman Edwards, I wasn't ready for that one there. Last thing I have to ask you, though. The House quickly rejecting Congresswoman Margaret Taylor Greene's bill to oust Speaker Johnson. Green getting some fierce criticism follow, uh, from fellow Republicans. What do you expect will be the fallout from uh, these divisions? I, I think that uh, this is a message now that uh, Republicans have to band together. We're much stronger. We can get things accomplished. If, uh, if we are working together, I believe that this was a strong message to uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, and the other folks that uh, continue to rebel if they can't get their way that we can accomplish things, that uh, we can stop the Biden agenda, and we can still score some conservative wins for our, for our conference, for our speaker, for this nation, if we're able to stick together.
Congressman Edwards, I want to thank you again for joining us for Morning in America this morning. And we will keep an eye out for President Biden and that perfume bottle. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.